All right, so I'm also going to be recording this. I'll be uploading the link <laughs> up onto a, a Google Drive or Google Doc, Google Drive, and um, I'll share it and post it into the chat for all of the quote unquote go to locations. In the meantime, always grab the first chest in the house. That's pretty obvious. What you want to do is you want to make it to Zelda. You know, save her just like, you know, how you would do in a normal run. And for all of your normal players, it's just what you would be doing. So nothing's too different. With Uncle Assured, you're guaranteed to get an item from him and the sword. Sick for magic. Excellent. Alright, I got some bombs. Normally you would get the lamp there, or some rupees. There are four chests exactly that you can obtain in the sewers after you save Zelda. There's also, I want to say, two chests in Hyrule Castle that you can grab. One of them being a small key, the other one being an item. Three chests. There's two items. There are two items and there is three chests, one of them being a small key. Get the blue tunic. Let's go. Now she doesn't look like. Oh, she looks like old Marissa now. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's grab a pot here. The gloves. Okay, that opens up. Like an insane amount as is um, which is good but I'm going to assume that we don't get the gloves here or else I'm just going to like do a run you know and that's not necessarily what we want to watch it's not necessarily what we want to do I want to make sure to let people know hey these are all of the open world checks that you can get right up from the bat if if I get the golden gloves three or uh, if I get the golden gloves and or the hammer and a moon pearl, then I will also be showing off all of the dark world open chests that you guys can grab, which also helpful. So I might actually do that. I might, I might just do that. But I'm only going to be doing the open world stuff. Oh wait, I, I'm going the wrong way. There we go, this is where we need to go. So the sewers and Hyrule Castle are two different locations. I'm in a completely different area. This has its own map. I wanna kill everything in here. So you know what, since this is a demonstration, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm not doing this run. This is just a demonstration, so I'm just gonna cheat. Normally, once again, you would be in the in darkness. This is the only place in the game that you will be allowed to have a lamp. So here's our first chest. It was on the 
on the right. And it's the Moon Pearl. Okay. Alright, um, if I get the hammer, I will be showing off Dark World as well. One of these mice always drops bombs, from what I've noticed. Whereas a really high chance of dropping bombs? Yeah! Will always drop bombs. So you want to make sure to grab those mice bombs. I got lucky and I got a bomb drop from a chest. That's not likely to happen. The reason being is because in, in either it's the next room. There we go. That's what I was looking for. This room no longer needs a lamp, but as you can see, has bombable location. If you've missed this location, you can get it if you have the gloves. I got the flippers, map, of course. They're golden gloves. Okay. Okay. I will go ahead and show off the dark world. How lucky. That's really lucky, actually. Okay, we saved Princess Zelda, and lo and behold, there's another check here. Excellent. Don't forget, the priest dude will heal you to max HP. All right, I've got two bombs and 300 rupees. Um, I need about 200 more. No, I need 300 more. I need You need 600 rupees total. So, ugh. I got lucky with a 300 rupee drop, so, eh. All right, let's go to Blind's Hut and heal up there. Gotta be frugal with my bombs. I don't want to have to buy more. Never, never mind. Definitely never mind. Excellent. All right. Great. And the the Pegasus boots. I've never actually got the Pegasus boots in any of my runs this early. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So with 100 rupees, you can buy an item from Hit. That's a shop. I go behind the tavern and get the red mail. Airy, that's old Marissa. She, she wears purple. Okay, well, um, I'm super strong. I might actually just straight up just do this run. This run seems like a good one. Fall into the well. Get a red rupee. Bomb that. Half magic. Another heart. Red rupee. Okay. Okay. Let's go all the way to south of Kakarika Village. Let's check out the library. It's a piece of heart. I'll go ahead and grab it. Let's do... Let's... 
before we waste bombs, what is the item here? It's 10 arrows. I don't particularly need it. Um, I'll go ahead and complete it. I'll go ahead and complete it. Because it is a check. And I am trying to show off all of them, you know? We can actually take this shortcut because we have the power gloves. I didn't actually take the shortcut. <laughs> it's fine. 14 seconds, okay. I got 10 arrows, hooray. Okay, now for like some of the uh, harder to reach places, I'll, I'll go the long way since uh, normally you wouldn't have the golden gloves at this point. So let me tell you, dying for fast travel, 100% viable, like 100% viable. I straight up just die all the time. It's like move around the map faster. 100%. Alright, okay, guys, sh I'll show off a little trick too that anyone can do. It's the easiest quote unquote speedrun tech ever. You can't do it on. You can't do it on north-facing walls, but you can walk along south-facing walls with pits like that. It's... I don't know why they've programmed it like that. I'm just bad. There we go. I like to hug against the wall and do it, but... Eh. Talk to the guy first. He's a check. 300 rupees, the book, all right, all right. Um, honestly the book was the only thing that was like super duper great, I mean I'll take the heart, always always take the heart. Oh, oh Jesus. All the way here, the very edge. I'll open up the map. That, like, little location. If you have the regular gloves, at the very least, regular gloves. You can get some more rupees here. And we got the fire rod. Damn. Okay. Okay. Alright, uh, I don't want to have to walk, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run into this guy. Whole lot. So I want to save continue. Warp to the sanctuary. We've pretty much gotten all of the light world checks already, like from the get-go, I'll be entirely honest here. There's a handful more. Actually, I will, there is one more. There's one more that we can do. Oh.
Run away from the thief. Here's the mushroom check. Not very useful. It's ten arrows. And the thieves check. Three bombs. Great. Okay. Not super useful. Okay. Oh. Got to go back to Hekuka Village. And got to go back to that uh, this middle entrance here. So now I'm in the dark world. I have a we problem, which I'm sure some of you might also have. I don't have a mirror. The mirror is what's used to travel back and forth between the light world and the, or from the dark world to back to the light world. So, oh no, I might be boned, you might be thinking. Nah, just save and quit and you'll restart in the light world. Let's just go ahead and do all the Thieves Town first. Since uh, we're in Thieves Town, there is the C shaped house. This part. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, here's the mini game. This mini game has an item. You are guaranteed to get it on the second item, so it doesn't matter what chest you get. This item just happened to be a red ruby. You'll notice it'll make the uh, it'll make two sound effects at the same time. Fun fact, once you get the Pegasus boots, because it didn't work there, you can, uh, sometimes you can bonk on walls like that and just destroy them with that bomb. Hey, we got the bow. Sick. All right. Oh, I do have the hammer, don't I? I sure do have the hammer. So there's another mini game that we can do over here. And it's in between the first and 30th dig. You might find your weapon or your item. So it's 50 rupees. It's guaranteed in your first to 30th. There's, a, there's two more checks in Thieves Town, but... Meh. You're supposed to have the hammer for it, and not just bombs. The check that I wanted to show off... Most importantly, and you should have uh, the gloves by this point in the game. If you're in the dark world, you most likely have gloves. This guy. Or... He's an item. And welcome to Hype Cave. Okay, that was kind of garbage. Bad height. <laughs> um, let me double check here. 
Okay. There's also... Let's go to the pyramid. Let's go to the pyramid. I have the hammer. But I'm just trying to traverse through the, uh, the dark world. In all honesty. Because, uh, you know, each randomizer is completely different. So, you might have access to the pyramid. You might not have access to the pyramid. With the uh, equipment that you have. I just so happen that I do. So... If I recall... Aha! No, that's for the uh, Eastern Pal- or the Palace of Darkness. We don't want to do that. Not yet. Oh, you know, there are a few more Light World checks. Let's take a bomb. What is over here? A bottle. Heck yeah. Right, that opens up just a few more things. So at this point, at this point, what I could do is I could do Blind's Hideout, just the dungeon, uh, Crystal 2, here. That's just something that I can do. Uh, I don't recommend it. I am able to pull it off because I have the 75% armor reduction, or uh, damage reduction. It's real nice. And I have the fire rod. I could do dungeon 6 over here. Or crystal 6. But there's not a whole lot more that I can do. I can access uh, dungeon 3, the ice palace over here. Because I have the fire rod once again. So they're, 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 the world's a little open for me. But I'm kind of boned because I need to go to the light world. So we're going to save and quit. And we're going to go to the sanctuary. Heal up. Let's go back to Kakariko Village for a hot second. Now we gotta go find the sick boy. Which I believe he might be in here. Nope. Do want to pull on Mario though. And get a bunch of rupees that way. Oh, you know what? I never did the chicken coop. Did I? I did not do the chicken coop. See, even, even I forget. Not using a tracker. That's what I get for not using a tracker. I believe he is above the tavern. Yep. So you can only get this guy if you have a bottle. That's super duper useful. He normally gives you the bug net. Um, let's go to the desert. Desert is south of here. I'm gonna take out. Oh, I don't have. I don't have a shoot yet. <laughs> Go 
gonna have to ask you to bug off. There you go. I'm gonna assume you guys have the gloves. We've already shown it off. You only need the level one gloves to pick up the green rocks. Any green rock requires level one. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hey, what's up? Nothing much, nothing much. You are live. I'm doing a recording of the entire game in case people miss it, because I've already done a lot. Uh, let's see, we gotta go to the Desert Sage. It's another check. South Wall. What do we get? Master Sword, let's go. I'm definitely going to keep going on this run. This run is so good so far. Okay. Okay, save continue. Let's start off at my house. Because I don't want to have to walk all the way across. So I have the flippers. Some of you might not have the flippers. And I'll show off the uh, the traditional method of getting to King Zoro, which is how you normally would get the flippers. But if you do, here's another open overworld check that you can do. Let's swim underneath the bridge here and talk to the hobo. His animation will say a bottle, because he normally gives you a bottle. And I got a single arrow. Fantastic. All right, uh, we are on our way to the Eastern Palace. To get so sa house I don't fucking know how to pronounce his name, I'll be honest here. I don't think anyone does. It's the most convoluted name, most fantasy name you've probably ever seen in your life. I've heard it pronounced as Sahasrola, but I can if his name is the same in Japanese. Told you, you can bonk on some of those walls. Let's see what we get here. 10, a shield, 50 rupees, that's fine. Shield is fine, I'm okay with getting the shield. It's progressive, so I need the mirror shield anyway. I would like to have the mirror shield anyway, so eh. Now we travel north. There is one thing that I want to recommend or warn people about. If you end the game in the Dark World and you haven't defeated a Ganon, which you can do at any time you have the Master Sword or the Cape, You will always restart in the light world. Oh, I went the wrong way. Of course I went the wrong way. If you don't beat a Ganon and you're in the dark world, you will start in the light world. But if you do, and you end your game in the dark world and you don't have a mirror, you're kind of boned. So uh, be wary of that. There's a... Oh, I know where the waterfall is. Okay. 
I know where the waterfall is. Pick up this rock. Go left. Go right. I could just pick this up. Normal people will just have to jump down. Totally viable. You can also bonk on the giant uh, mushroom-looking stones, too, with uh, the Pegasus boots, and break them. Waterfall that I was thinking of is here. You need the flippers for it. Okay. I'll take it. This one you need 500 rupees for, which is why I needed a uh, whole bunch of money at the beginning of the game for this specific check. There's also an item that you can see. I'll gladly take that. You need the flippers for that one though. You don't need the flippers for the one that I'm going to right now. Normally I swim up the top, but because not everyone might have the flippers at this point, you go to the bottom row. And talk to the king's or over here. I got three bombs. If you have the flippers, Just come straight down from him. Grab this overworld item. Um, this guy's not do enough damage to kill me. I guess we're walking. Need to go to Kakarika Village. Oh my god. Come on. Come on, buddy. I know you can do it. <laughs> There we go. So it continues, start at the sanctuary, heal up. Let's see. Graveyard is next door. In case you guys missed the sewers at the beginning. We can push that guy, enter in the sewers right there. If you have the gold gauntlets, mirror, and Pegasus boots. Sick at the Ocarina. Okay. I'll also be showing off the Ocarina, I guess. Easiest and fastest way, most guaranteed way to get to the Dark World is an Ocarina. Or, Kakariko. However... We unlock fast travel. obviously needs the ocarina for it's 
I need to go to the Dark World, so fast travel isn't super helpful, but will be, and won't have to die as often. So here, if you have a hammer, you can knock down these pegs. And here's a check. Hold on, my phone's going off. Hold on, give me one sec. Unfortunately, it was only a red rupee, so eh, might be better for some of you guys. And once again, I'm only doing overworld checks, not even in the mountains. Only dungeon accessible, uh, dungeonless accessible items. Uh, I need to go to the forest next door. Oh, Shafa, you could just jump down. You don't need the gloves to to jump down. I just got lucky and I have the, the golden gloves. There is a kid here in the dark world. We'll give you an item. We go back to that frog looking thing. Oh. Which you will need the the golden gloves for. Talk to him and he starts to follow you around. So, because I don't have the mirror. We'll save and quit. Start off in the sanctuary. And he still follows you around. Go back to Kakariko. We'll once again need the hammer. Bring him to his buddy, friend, partner, I don't know what. Gotta leave the screen. Immediately come back. Talk to them, we'll give you 10 arrows. Normally, if you have the Master Sword, which you should at that point, they'll uh, give you the uh, level 3 Tempered Sword. Highly recommend doing it. I don't have the Magic Powder. I don't. But you would use the Magic Powder on this guy. And that's an item. Which you need the hammer for. To knock down the uh, the peg. Let's see. Are there any more item checks that I can just do? Yes, there is one more. Which I can fast travel to. Using the ocarina. One of eight locations to fast travel to. Let's go to seven. And there are two items here. OK, 
Gotta open up the floodgate. And we got bombs. Useful. Obviously we go back. More bombs. Lovely. We'd love to see it. With the ocarina, I could go all the way to the mountainside, and uh, there's quite a few items up there. I'll I'll do it because uh, half of you might get the ocarina, half of you might get the lamp, and you need the lamp to get to the mountainside anyways, which I do not have. Let's go in here, talk to this guy. He also heals you up if you're uh, damaged, but you need to talk to him to unlock the uh, fast travel location to start on the mountain cave. So I can now start at the mountain cave, the sanctuary, or my house. Let's see, there's three bombs up there which are useless to me. See, there are 10 arrows, which are also useless to me, but I'll show it off just to make sure everyone has had to get to them. Very, very simple. Hold down. I only have one bottle, so I can't grab fairy. Let's jump down. Honestly, I I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I think that's every single check that you can get with minor items barring some required the flippers or something like that um i need the mirror to get up there as uh, you would travel into the dark world use the mirror up here and you would teleport to the, that area of the light world which i cannot do um i'm gonna save and quit here Oh, I guess I can't start up the, uh, no matter. I want to just double check, just to make sure that there isn't anything that I can just go ahead and grab. Which, uh, not that I can think of, if I'm off the top of my head, we've already gone, gotten everything in the forest. The two items in the forest. We've gotten all of the items in Kakarika Village, south of Kakarika Village with the maze. Um, we don't have the shovel to check the forest here. I've already gotten all two items in the Hyrule Castle, the two items in the sewers, the one item in the graveyard, the three items in Sarashala's uh, hut, Ice Rod Cave, hi, uh, the Moldorm Cave here, the both items in the Swamp, the one item in the Desert, and the one item in the Mountainside that we can grab right out of the, right off the bat. In the Dark World, let me quickly get to there. There's an easy Dark World entrance here. Let's see, in the Dark World, we went to the forest here, grabbed the, the item there from the kid, checked the Golden Pyramid. We went into Thieves Town, the C-shaped house, the Bumble house, as well as the minigame. We went to... Ba -da 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 -da. We went to Hype Cave over here, talked to the guy and grabbed the four items there.
There is one more we could go over here. There's one more item that we can get over here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and die real quick so I don't have the... I don't have the mirror. There is one more Dark World item that we can get. Go to Kakarika Village. I, I guess I'll go the long way around in case you don't have the golden gloves and you only have the hammer and the regular one, because I have yet to show that off. You only need level one gloves for that. And the hammer. So what we're doing here is the last check that doesn't require a major, major item. It's halfway to the uh, Zora King, just in the dark world. I'm gonna just, cause I've got the flippers. If you have the Pegasus boots, like I said, you can knock those down. But I can pick up the black stones. We grab an item. This could be any item. It could be a bomb. Throw it into the circle. And a eastern god shows up. Hands us an item. Happens to be a red rupee. In the vanilla version, he's going to give you the... This electric metal. It freezes all enemies and turns them into uh, easier enemies, I, I want to say off the top of my head. But I believe that is everything. That is every single item that you can get in Legend of Zelda Link to the Past without needing some seriously major items. Like I said, I'm going to be uploading this uh, video up on a Google Doc, or on Google Drive, and uh, posting it here in the Discord. So that everyone can go ahead and see in case they missed it. I'm going to go ahead and die here because I want to go back to my house. Sanctuary. I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and save and quit. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.